Hello everybody, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's video. As you guys saw in the title, we will be trying on, doing a try on haul with all the new products I got from the Sephora VIP sale. Sephora spring savings event, Sephora savings event, whatever we're calling it now. Anyway, I'm so excited. So first, if you guys like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button and without further ado, let's just get started so if you guys did not see i did do a giant haul already with my kind of my first wave of products i did do a um this is second wave of products just because i had to get some online um but i ended up did i did end up getting some more in store as well and i'm like trying not to place one more order <laughs> but today when you're seeing this this should be the last day of the sale unfortunately but it's okay <laughs> again i know not everyone shops it i know some people are like come on enough with the sephora sale stuff i'm like give me more sephora sale stuff but it's fine you know to each their own um but i did want to post this in time before the sale ends just in case you want to see any of these products in action before the sale ends and like before you decide if you want to purchase them or not um so anyway let's just jump in because we have so many products here um real quick i do want to start off with some lip balm so i did pick up this laneige dreamy lip kit it costs 20 dollars. again then you can add your discount to it um and it comes with four different little mini guys here so they are super mini like that's the thing they are super mini um you can see here super super mini for me i like this because i get tired of scents super easily number one number two um sometimes i just like to rotate them like a little bit more often than a full size allows because you don't want to you want to use it up before it goes bad but sometimes you can't <laughs> um i've talked about this a lot i did a whole video dedicated to sephora sets and just kind of my opinions on sets and minis and stuff like that so i won't talk too much but i thought this was super worth it i want to go in today with the shade sweet candy because i have not tried this one <laughs> um and that would be so so good so it comes with the original berry which i've tried and i've loved it comes with sweet candy mango and then also peach iced tea so i was like it comes with a great options especially if you're someone who doesn't know which one you're gonna like um and you don't want to just go in blind oh this one smells good I just love these lip balms because they are super super nourish nourishing they feel so good on the lips they look so co good on the lips they're so comfortable um but um the scents are just so fun like in addition the scents are also just so fun so i think they're just so worth it and i actually really like this scent a lot it definitely is like sweet candy literally that's what it smells like I feel like I could talk on and on. Anyway, love that set. <laughs> and then love that lip balm. They're perfect. And I'm going to keep them everywhere in my house, honestly. In my room, I should say. But I'll, even in my bed. Whatever. I'm just going to keep them everywhere. Okay, next we're just going to go with some face primer. I didn't pick up a new face primer, which I'm glad about. <laughs> I'm trying to, like, get that collection down. Um, I'm going to go in with my NYX Plump Right Back. I've been wearing this all week and I'm almost done with it. I'm so excited about it. Oh my gosh. I've been using this uh, primer so much. I feel like I'm learning new things about it as it's coming to an end. It is very tacky. Whatever. We're not talking about this primer. The reason why I put it on, um, I wanted to put it on before I talked about a bunch of foundations is because um, I needed to just melt into the face, like, you know, set or whatever. Anyway, guys, I told you I wasn't going to pick up every single, all three of the foundations that um, were on my wish list, and I did not do that, luckily. Um, I actually picked up four foundations. <laughs> I cannot I cannot okay so uh, first I picked up the um not first this one I had to place online because I wanted the mini this is the makeup forever HD skin hydro glow foundation this is one of the two products literally there's two products that I heard literally probably like five people talk about uh, in their wish list this was one of the two products i'll show you the other product because i did pick that one too but literally i heard them over and over and over again i heard that this foundation was just incredible so gorgeous it's the perfect time to pick it up in the sale blah blah blah, blah. and i was so shocked because i was kind of convincing myself not to get it because i thought it would be super similar to like the glossier foundation that i love um but for some reason people are just obsessed with this and so i needed to try it i did get the mini i got the shade though 2n26 i think this is the shade um sand that's what it's called 2n26 sand um if that helps <laughs> because i'm like why would they not just write whatever anyway so they're only a, there's a lot less options if you get the little mini guy here but i wanted the mini they want the full size and i thought this was so cute um i also feel like this would be a nice shade match so we'll talk about more about this oh once you shake it 
shake before use um, we'll talk more about this in a second so that was one of the, the three foundations I got then I, I but I talked about getting that you know I talked about that on my wish list I also did pick up the ABH um, stick foundation it's the stick serum boosted skin tint beauty balm serum boosted skin tint I got the shade 11 I use this in a trying new makeup video um, I think a week ago at this point if you guys have not seen I really love this foundation I think it is so stunning it looked so beautiful and I have worn it a couple times since then and I just truly um, think it's incredible so I 10 out of 10 recommend if you have not picked this up I think it is so good it definitely is a very sheer coverage so if you don't like something that's gonna be super sheer or anything like that then obviously it's not for you but it is very sheer kind of just skin perfecter kind of vibe vibes very serum consistency very lightweight not heavy easy to use easy to apply honestly 10 out of 10 <laughs> um but I use that in another video I'll have to pop in a little clip I did also try the Kosas BB Burst Tinted Gel Cream I just haven't put it in a video yet um this is the shade medium neutral 23 medium neutral now it's not my favorite shade but I definitely think it's workable usable and I'm not gonna I don't want to exchange it whatever I just feel like it's just so much work obviously I should exchange it but I don't want to I also feel like I want to experiment with like my bronzing drops and stuff um to kind of see how you know if that helps this out whatever anyway I'm okay with the color <laughs> if you're my shade twin in anything I would go up um a shade or two um just because it is super super light but it just depends on who you are anyway I freaking I really was trying to convince myself not to get this one as well um and this one though it ended up looking so stunning it was so beautiful I just think it looks super super like dewy and I do again I wore the NYX one with I think all of these primers and the NYX primer you can see it's very juicy very dewy so I do think that depending on what you kind of put under it it definitely gonna it's definitely gonna play towards that um but again yeah it's light buildable coverage hydrating um it just looks so pretty it's a smoothing and blurring now I don't necessarily I don't feel like it's not smoothing and blurring but I don't necessarily think that those are like the the important things about this I definitely feel like um it definitely is super super hydrating which I freaking love and then it says vibrant fresh look which is definitely the vibe that's very your skin but better um I do have to say that this one I think is I would say this one is the slightest bit more coverage than the ABH um stick I definitely think this one's a little bit lighter coverage but you can build both of them I feel like um I feel like I would give this one sheer light coverage this one I would say is light coverage you know um if that helps you decide I definitely think this one too or maybe I don't know it's hard to describe them when I haven't had them for that long, but I feel like this one might be a little bit more, I don't want to say dewy, because it's not necessarily dewy, but a little bit more hydrating. Okay, yeah, it definitely is more hydrating. Okay, I wanted to make sure what their claims were. So yes, that makes sense. This one is supposed to be a more hydrating finish. This one's supposed to be a more natural finish. I do have to say this one is, it, that's pretty accurate. Um, now, to, going between these two. So now, I also picked up the Super Goop Protect Tint Daily SPF Tint. Um, I have to throw in a little clip because I haven't used it in a video yet. I got the shade 32N. I was literally having major FOMO with this. I was so depressed because I'm like, it keeps selling out. But my store had it in stock. So I was like, I could just pick it up in store. So I went in and I picked it up in store and I freaking love it <laughs> this one also is a natural finish I do have to say this one has the most coverage out of the other two foundations um definitely the most coverage I do think that this one is a more natural finish than the ABH I think the ABH is a little bit because it's like more serum-y I feel like it's a little bit thinner which makes it a little bit more juicier in my opinion this one I think is truly a natural finish straight through and through natural finish <laughs> Um, yeah, there's looking like a lot of shades are sold out online, but if you can get it in your store, I honestly think this is so beautiful. Um, it has SPF. Um, oh, it says light coverage as well. Um, and I would agree. I feel like it is more like it's like, um, I don't want to say light medium coverage. I definitely think it's light coverage, but I do think it's more since the natural finish is a little bit more very natural finish it looks a little bit more perfected so it looks it gives the effect of more coverage if that makes sense um like my skin looks just looked super flawless it covered like mostly like most of the stuff that I would want to cover so it was honestly like just that the formula is super pretty so I think it's really stunning again the SPF is great um what the heck was I gonna say I was gonna say something else it says fragrance free but I definitely could smell the sunscreen in this and I love the smell of sunscreen so I didn't care but for those of you who don't like it maybe go in and store and see if you can smell it because you can definitely smell the sunscreen but it definitely stopped throughout the day this one was so great it literally lasted all day long it was so beautiful it looked so good again I was wearing it with this primer and I just love the way I think this one's a good one too because no matter what kind of primer you use it's kind of gonna go again toward more toward the primer 
I feel like this one, um, like if you wore more like matte primer or if you didn't put on primer at all, I definitely think that um, depending on your skin tone, it could look a little bit dry just because I put on this primer and I noticed like um, it starts to get super chilly. My nose started to peel a little bit and my nose is, always has issues with certain foundations and I normally and I don't care it's not something that's gonna make or break for me but I do have to say like don't I wouldn't if you're like a matte lover or anything like that I wouldn't try to I wouldn't try to mattify this I wouldn't use like my super strengthening matte primers or anything like that I feel like it could verge to a little too dry so I would stick to like your natural finish like um kind of powders and stuff like that but also like maybe a hydrating base and stuff like that I feel like would be perfect with this and I loved it so anyway I know I talked a lot about those but um I really wanted to give you my opinion because I know again people are still shopping and if this is back in stock then I definitely would pick it up um because I think it's beautiful and I definitely will wear this a lot I feel like they're all different enough that I definitely will get you set of all of them um these are all definitely like skin tinty kind of vibes very lighter lightweight kind of coverage I think this one is a little bit more medium coverage so I'm excited to try this one and I definitely again feel like it will have a good use in my collection um hydrating natural finish it doesn't tell me the coverage yep coverage medium coverage so again it's definitely gonna fit so I'm excited like it they're all for different things and so I, that's why I just did a declutter because I was like I really got to cut down my foundation so I've been trying the foundations that are kind of like on the chopping block I've made some decisions so we'll see but I'm excited to go with this I think I'm just gonna squirt it actually yeah right on the face Ooh. I should just went with one drop it's fine we're gonna use a brush I think Oh my gosh, already off the bat, stunning, stunning. Again, this primer, I, I, the reason why I use it in all these videos is because I want to use it up and I know that I'm going to be trying to focus on it for a while now and I know it's, I'm going to combine it and so I want it to see what it looked like. But you can see the primer by itself is very hydrating, very juicy. It looks a little bit more, I don't, I guess glowy is the word. So that's what makes the primer, I mean the foundation look a little bit more glowy, a little bit more um, hydrated, dewy. Um, but I do have to say this foundation definitely is a super hydrating foundation just off the bat. Um, and it does have its own glow because you can see it definitely looks enhanced like definitely looks like more than just this um but I kind of love that because you guys know this is what I wear all summer long <sighs> oh my gosh it covers everything you want it definitely is medium coverage that's 100% accurate um I would say that super group is like slightly less coverage than this one um but I feel like the like Kosas is the, like a little like less way less coverage in this one and I feel like this is even more less coverage in this one so just going on coverage it definitely like from light to medium coverage I would go this one's the least amount then Kosas then Super Goop then um Makeup Forever yeah <laughs> if you have any questions let me know just ask away because I, I tr always try to like answer everything before they're even asked um just in case but you know I never know what people want to <laughs> what people want to know you know or what you guys want to know when you're deciding. The shade match actually looks perfect, so I'm really glad I went with this one. Because it probably would have shade up if I would have got the full size. And I'm kind of glad I went this one because it looks like a really good shade match. Okay. So now that we have that, <laughs> we're going to go on with the number two. Honestly, these were recommended just as much. But these were the two products that were recommended literally nonstop. Like, literally, I was so surprised because it was YouTubers who honestly moved into, like, some, like, um more home stuff like as well so they do a little bit of makeup but they do a bunch of other stuff that I don't normally watch and they recommended this as well and I was like what the makeup lovers and the like others everyone was recommending this this is the Natasha Nonona high glam concealer and I was like okay I won't do it I won't get it and then more people kept recommending it and I was like what I had to get it and then now this color sold out and so I don't know how many colors are sold out and like what's available or whatever but I was so surprised so surprised and I'm so excited about it this cost $30, which is obscene, but obviously with the discount, it was a great, great deal. Let me see. Honestly, only... They have so... Oh my gosh, they have she's a bajillion color. So there's not... Not all of them are sold out. Um, but this was just the medium neutral color. And let me just see. I want to see what it says. Hydrating, natural finish, medium coverage. Perfect for this foundation, not gonna lie. It's obviously funny. I think this foundation said it was natural finish. It's definitely more hydrated glowy finish so I don't know what they're talking about I'm just gonna put it everywhere I really like this applicator that was really nice it didn't tug or anything like that very creamy the foundation I mean the concealer going on feels very very creamy 
we're gonna go with my brush Wow, okay, I definitely was not expecting it to go this long away. I thought it was going to be a little bit lighter, so I definitely will go in with less next time. I also think this color is a little bit light, so I would go in if I was, if we are shade twins or similar skin tones, I would go up a shade or two, really. Although it looks so stunning. It definitely looks nice and hydrated under the eyes. This one I was hard. It was always hard. It was hard to decide if I wanted this one too because I'm like, I feel like it's giving like Kosa, similar to Tower Twenty Eight, and all the concealers that I've been trying like have and loving recently. And so I was like, well, then it means I'll probably love it. But then I'm like, also then I'm like kind of repeating the same thing over and over. Um, but it looks so pretty, and I've been like loving a lot of my Natasha Denona stuff recently. So it's like fine. It's fine. Maybe we'll do a full face of Natasha Denona soon. Um, but she doesn't have like a full face. I don't think. That looks super pretty. It definitely is like medium coverage under the eyes, um, which I like something sometimes lighter coverage just because when you're wearing like a bunch of too much coverage, it looks very heavy makeup -y under the eyes. I do still think it looks super pretty. It doesn't look, it's not, it, it looks like it's like on the verge of being too much. So I definitely will go lighter next time and see how that looks. Like I'll put a little bit less, probably one dot under the eye <laughs> and see how that looks. Um, but I do think it's super pretty. If you're someone who likes um, a lighter coverage though, keep in mind, it's, this is truly medium coverage. Like it's not gonna sheer out too much or um, whatever. Honestly, I do have a sponge as well sitting here. So maybe we'll just see what a sponge is doing. Yeah, I could already tell you. I was like, oh wait, I really like it. I think I like it better with a sponge. It soaks up a little bit of product, like the smallest amount, but the exact amount I needed for it to look stunning. <laughs> The exact amount I was saying in my head that I should have removed is the exact amount it absorbs. It's perfect. Oh my gosh. So stunning. Definitely like the prettiest medium cover ba coverage base right now. I'm obsessed. Literally obsessed. Obsessed. Okay, so I'm going to do a bunch of products and then I'll be back to finish off the look. Alright, we're back and we're better. <clears throat> Next we're going to go with a setting spray. So I picked up the LYS Skin Loyalty setting spray. So I didn't realize it says mattifying setting spray. I thought this was a natural finish setting spray which I can actually pull it up. But I've been wanting this since it released, honestly. I forgot about it. Then someone recommended it. Yeah, so on Sephora it says a natural finish, hydrating, best for dry combo normal skin. Alcohol free, long wearing. I felt like this was like a perfect kind of similar product to like the um, Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Fall Setting Spray. I just didn't want to repurchase that one again because I purchased that all the time. So I wanted to try something new, just kind of see how it goes. This this one bottle, the thing says though, blur, mattify, and set makeup. So I really don't know what it's going to look like if it's saying a few different things. <laughs> I don't know. So yeah, see it's saying natural finish. So I think it's going to look like a natural finish. Um, oh, I asked always. Like I don't know if I love the triangle or hate it. I can't tell, but this is super cute. I love setting sprays and I said I wasn't gonna get one but this one again I just it was on my radar for a while I just always take it off my list because I have so many setting sprays but I don't have that many right now and I'm about to finish up the Charlotte Tilbury for so I felt like it would be a perfect replacement kind of product if you will mm. definitely does not look matte it definitely looks like a natural finish so I'm glad <laughs> I still picked it up I do think it like is very refreshing. The mist is very like, ah, oh, like very um, refreshing. It feels really nice. Um, it smells good. It always a uh, setting spray. Every time I spray too much, it makes me sneeze. But so far, I'm liking it. <laughs> it's like hard to know, honestly. Like it's really hard to know. But I do think like it definitely. It's definitely not glowy or adding any kind of glow. It's definitely like just. And honestly, it looks like a natural finish, so. Alright, so the next we're going to go with some eyeshadow. So you have the Too Faced Born This Way Cold Smoldered Nudes. It's a mini eyeshadow palette. You guys know how badly I wanted this. <laughs> I literally was checking to in Sephora as well. They just did not have it in stock. And I don't know if it's because people were like buying this or if they just never got it. I don't know. But so stunning. I thought it was so perfect. It does have a little clasp too, which honestly is going to make it really nice for travel so it doesn't like flap open. Um so stunning so i'm very excited to use this let's zoom in 
I cleaned all my brushes, so it's perfect. Um, let's try this one. This is one of the Sephora collection br brushes, um, which I didn't really recommend any of them for my in this year's recommendation or get any new ones this year. Um, but I remember like really being obsessed last year, so I want to retry. It's a Pro Crease 26 brush. Let's go in with this middle shade here, which is the shade Driftwood. Oh my gosh, so stunning. Honestly, this brush is super nice. It has like different size bristles, so I feel like it just blends super nicely. Okay, I forgot about this. All right, then I also have the Sephora 24 brush, the Pro Crease brush. It's, again, same thing, but literally just smaller. Um, and then we're gonna go with that deepest shade, which is the shade, this is the shade Cold Smolder. It makes the most sense, right? I don't know. We're just gonna put that on the outer corner. <sighs> Pigmented. I really do, I normally love Too Faced Formula. I just feel like uh, the how quickly some of their products go limited edition sucks. And then also like not all the color stories are my favorite, um, but this one is just calling me, like literally calling me. It is, seems like it's a little bit deeper than the Natasha Denona Mini Nude Palette or my mini dream palette but I kind of like that because then obviously I can get I can have justify keeping both forever because <laughs> they're different enough oh my gosh so stunning do I want to put this on the lower lash line I think I do hold on I'm gonna get a tighter like more shader brush and I'm gonna take that deep shade and put it super close to the lash line because I don't want it to go too far down I'm gonna go with that first brush and just kind of blend this out. I'm kind of obsessed. Okay, I think we're gonna go in with this bottom shimmer, the shades Show Off, and we're gonna put that, ooh, these feel a little bit like grittier. They're a little bit like uh, drier. Um, we're gonna put that in the back here oh my gosh but that is so pretty and it's easy to apply it's not PC I'm not seeing any fallout yeah no fallout Wow oh actually maybe one or two but like not very much I should say I honestly I think I'm just gonna actually take that shade all the way down um, because it's so pretty <laughs> I'm going to take this top shade on the right. I think this is called Sparkle and Chill maybe because it looks like just like a sparkly shade. And I'm just going to top it on top like right in the center like that. Oh my gosh. Wow. This one's a little bit smoother. It's not as chunky. It's very smooth. Um, they're both applying really nicely. I think there's a bit of fallout from this one. It is a little bit looser but like not chunky if that makes sense I just think this is so stunning oh my gosh I'm just gonna blend out the outer corner here just so it looks a little bit more seamless let me go with some eyeliner real quick this is so gorgeous I'm so excited <laughs> Can you tell I'm so excited? Um, next we're just gonna go with some mascara. So I did get the whole Sephora Lash To Go sampler set. It comes with four mini mascaras and then you can purchase, use the voucher to get a full size. I also just wanna tell you, I freaking got like a $25 gift for purchase from a purchase before, like right before the sale. Um, and um, so I hadn't used it yet and I went to open it the other day and this is how it looked. I said I cannot use that because that mascara is dried out and it looks insane and because it was a gift with purchase I'm not gonna like email them because I didn't buy it but like that's mad annoying so just be careful if you're getting like the gift with purchases and you're getting like mascaras and stuff I would try and open them right away or um maybe just pass on them well I would pass on them if you know it's an older mascara because I should have just known sometimes they'll do newer mascaras that like just release and they'll put them in a mini and then you know that it's new these are you can this you can tell this is old um, but that was just like a gift of purchase that I wanted to just tell you because whatever. So that one did not come in the set though. Anyway, I think today I want to try the Benefit Roller Lash because I use the Tarte and the Rare Beauty in like every video. <laughs> and then I've used the Milk before and I'm sure everyone and their mom uses Too Faced. So I want to try the 
benefit. But here they are here. They're all like really good sizes. Again, Milk Makeup, Too Faced, Rare Beauty. Oh yeah, it's the exact same as the mini. And then the Tarte Tarlet and then Benefit Roller Lash. I'm gonna curl my lashes because that's what I always do. Oh my gosh. So this is like three coats. I definitely freaking think this is super pretty. It's very lengthening heavy, which I really like. I think it looks just really pretty, really girly, wispy. I think this one will definitely get better as it dries out a little bit more because the mascara seems to be like, obviously it's new, so it's super wet. Um, I feel like it's gonna, when it dries out more, it's gonna be like a favorite because it is so stunning right now. I'm kind of obsessed so very happy with that I really love that set because again you can kind of just pick you know whatever um whatever full size you want out of this out of the five options and try ones that you might have not tried beforehand you know uh, on another occasion I also I didn't get any lip products so that's everything that I got I didn't get any lip products this sale which I'm kind of happy about because I just bought a whole bunch from a brand that you will see on Wednesday but I'm so excited about it. That's what I'm wearing today. So I don't want to tell you because you guys will see it on Wednesday. But I'm like obsessed with this whole look right now. Everything looks so stunning. And I'm so obsessed with this eyeshadow. I knew I would be. And so I'm so glad that it worked out. And the formula is incredible. So 10 out of 10. Again, all these products I just wanted to kind of share with you. Just so you guys can kind of see if you like it applied if you like it in you know like seeing it of course it's always best to go in person but if you can't make it into store i do think it's also beneficial just to see it on someone else see it applied see how they applied it and or if you bought a product and you're debating on returning it or exchanging it and you want to see like how did someone else use it make it look pretty you know like just for all of those of you who just want to see a little bit more <laughs> of these products um this video is for you i thought it was super fun and fresh i do have to say the lys setting spray is looking a little bit more um matte i don't think it's a fully matte setting spray so i think if you have oily skin like don't think that this is going to be something that's going to be super mattifying and like control your oils i definitely think it's more of a soft matte where um it kind of just makes this the the face look a little bit more smooth a little less glowy a little less um hydrated than it looked a second ago so i do still think it's really pretty and i think it's definitely if you're someone who's going to an amusement park all day or like something where you like the glow you like the whole like hydrated vibe but you know that you're gonna sweat like a crazy <laughs> and you want something just to kind of balance the two I think this setting spray is for you. So I definitely still see myself getting used out of it, but I just wanted to update you guys because I noticed it once it kind of set, it does look a little bit different than initial first spray. Um, so I would keep that in mind. There is like some matte aspects to it, I should say. Um, so it's not going to be for everyone, but I feel like I will get used out of it. So that's enough said. I do feel like the Charlotte Tilbury is a little bit more hydrating um, and a little bit more of a pick-me-up, less of a, like a, yeah, a little bit more of a pick-me-up, I should say. Okay, that's it. All right, guys. <laughs> that is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what products you picked up during the sale. Do we pick up any of the same products? <laughs> I'm so excited to keep playing with all these foundations. Trust me, you will be seeing them, a lot of them. So uh, uh, you'll see, be seeing them a lot. Um, so don't worry. I know, like, my reviews of them weren't the best explained. <laughs> but you'll be seeing a lot of these products as well just over and over again because these are just, like, my summer go- my spring go-tos. So... Yes. <laughs> All right. I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.